Hi, this is David from Revival Clothing. I'm here to show you how to point your braids and chouses. I have them already on my body here, and uh, you can see I've already pulled through the waist cord here so that I can point my uh, chouses to it. Uh, but uh, I have a pair straight from our warehouse. If you order it from revivalclothing.com, this is what you'll get. Uh, as you see, it's got super long laces, and it's rather wide. Uh, the laces are so long so that uh, so you don't lose them in the wash and have to pull them back through. And uh, it may look really wide, but this is the same size that I'm wearing. So once you actually get it on your body, it's, uh, it's not going to look gigantic. Uh, so uh, I will show you up close in a little bit here how to do this, but uh, there's a buttonhole sewn up here. And we're going to uh, gather this around our, around our waist and pull through this cord right here. We'll tie it off in a knot. Uh, to make a little loop, and that's what we're going to point our chouses to. We've got this. This is going to take place on our body, but uh, right now I'm going to show you uh, up close, not on my body, so it's easier to see. Uh, we find our we find our eye hope our eyelet here uh, that the waist cord is going to come through. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and there's one of those on either side, and those are going to sit over our hips. And uh, this is going to take place on your body again, but we're going to take and pull pull through and gather this around our waist until we have it the appropriate size. And then at that point, we're going to take our, our little eyelet there and uh, we've got to get this uh, waist cord back through. And like every medieval person, I have a knife handy. Um, you can use whatever you like, but we just need to get something with a point to get, uh, to get this uh, waist cord out through the hole here. So we've got that through. There we go. We'll set this down here. Okay, so we've got our loop, and all we're going to do is uh, make a make a short little knot here. Just loop this back through itself. And we don't want a very big loop so that uh, our chouses don't hang down low. So there's the size of our loop, just barely a little bigger. A little bigger than my little finger here. And pull it back and we do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to uh, how to make your uh, little loops here to point your, your chouses, uh, I've got a pair of Revival Clothing uh, chouses here and I will show you how to put these on and, and point them. So, we've got uh, our, our uh, laces are here and this is gonna go to the outside. We'll just kind of pull this up and keep tucked. We're gonna pull this around. And then I'll show you up close of this as well, but this is fairly simple. We go through our little uh, loop that we made and we're just gonna tie this off in a knot. We'll pull this as high as we can. And there's one. On. Same thing, we'll pull it around, find our little loop, pull that as tight as we can. Voila! And here I am, through the magic of the interwebs, dressed fully in my uh, medieval outfit. Uh, as you see, I've got my, my chouses are, are out. You can't see my braids, but uh, they're, here's our, our, where we've got them pointed. Uh, the one thing that I would like to mention on here is we've got a garter here that keeps everything nice and smooth so that the chouses don't bag down over the calves. Uh, and we will have another video showing how to do the garters, and then uh, and then for warm weather, hot weather, where your uh, where your chouse is rolled down with those. Uh, so come on back. Uh, everything that we have is uh, head to toe available at uh, Revival Clothing, and I look forward to seeing you at the next video.